Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. I want to talk to you today about temptation and how to overcome it. Psalm 119, 128, the date, date King David says, Therefore I esteem right all your precepts concerning everything. I hate every false way. Have you ever wished sinful things weren't as such a temptation? I mean, I often wish that that things like overeating wasn't such a problem or that greediness never entered my heart or lust didn't have such a pull or that the desire for that which God forbids was not existent. Why the temptations anyway? Would it not be better for us and God if temptation had no allure and no attraction? I mean, if we never got tempted, then we could really walk with God and please him, couldn't we? Well, we got to remember, we're the one who brought temptation into the world whenever we chose in our forefathers, Adam and Eve, to uh, trust a snake instead of a father. So, but, but there's a question I want us to consider this morning. Where's the victory? God does desire us to walk with him and not succumb to the temptations of the flesh. However, God wants us to defeat temptation, not by forfeit, but by victory. You know, when I was younger and still had decent knees, I, I loved to play sports. I'd play baseball and, you know, sometimes basketball. I wrestled. I played football. Um, and I remember after graduating from college, I played in several city leagues uh, in softball. It was a ton of fun. I mean, some nights there'd be a game which the other team had to forfeit because they didn't have enough players show up. Many times we would loan them players so that we could beat them. I mean, that's just the way it was. Of course, we didn't loan them our best players, but you know what I'm saying. But my squad won, not because we beat them whenever they would forfeit, but because they couldn't field a team for that night. It was a hollow win, to say the least. Victory by forfeit is not much of a victory. Well, God wants his children to meet the enemy head on and defeat the enemy. David met Goliath on the field of battle and beat him for a great victory. I mean, if Goliath had suffered a massive heart attack on the way down the mountain to face David, would that not have been a hollow victory? Do you think we'd be talking about that kind of story with the same excitement and passion? I mean, let's face it, anyone can defeat a dead giant. But for you and I to experience the thrill, the excitement, the joy of victory, there has to be opposition. There has to be temptation. Jesus met temptation in his life on earth and defeated it, not by default, but by hard, but by hard fought victory, by depending on his Father, trusting his will, his word, and his ways. So how can you and I do what Jesus did when we're tempted? When we're tempted to tell a lie in order to save face or get what we want, or when we're tempted to be sexually immoral in thought or action to gratify the flesh, or to be irresponsible to have fun in the moment, or to steal in order to get ahead, or to take drugs or alcohol in order to escape or to cope, or to bash people with our tongues in order to hurt them because they hurt us. Without question, you and I must depend on God's strength for victory over temptation. I found, however, another big key to victory. Psalm 119, 128. Therefore, I esteem right all your precepts concerning everything. I hate every false way. If you and I settle the issue in our hearts that God's ways, his laws, his precepts are right concerning everything, then temptation loses a lot of its pull and attraction. For example, suppose you're attempted in the area of sexual immorality. God says, this sexual immorality will destroy you. It'll bring a moment of pleasure and a lifetime of pain. It will leave you guilty, ashamed, and alone. See Proverbs 6, 29 through 35 if you want proof text. But temptation says, go for it. It feels good, do it. Everyone else is, live for the moment. Give no thought to tomorrow. Which voice do you think is telling you the truth? Which voice is the one to follow? So the next time you're tempted, think it through. God always tells the truth. And his ways are always right concerning everything. And the sooner you and I believe that, receive that, and live by that, the sooner we'll start slaying those Goliath temptations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you today. Father, help us, Lord, to face temptation today. Not as, not as people who are powerless, but by people who have your Holy Spirit. And yes, Lord, there is a lure to the temptation. There is pleasure in the temptation. But Father, help us to see that your word is right in everything. And the joy you give is far greater than that momentary weakness that we succumb to far too often. Help us, Lord, to be strong today to lean on you, Jesus. It's in your name I pray. 
Amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. Now, go be salt and light.